Hello there guys, welcome to video number 27, I think. Right, I'm pretty sure this is video number 27, but video 26, or whichever one was last, might not work. I've uploaded it to YouTube, and um, it said uh, cannot process video, and it wouldn't do it. So I deleted that one, and I'm trying to upload it again. So it's uploading at the moment, it's about 8% done so far, but it's quite long, it's like two and a half hours or something. So, I can't go back to before my point on that video and do that gameplay again. So if that video don't work, then you've missed quite an important part of gameplay. So I'm going to do a really, really quick recap. This dude here was one of the kings in Sparta. Two kings in Sparta, this is one of them. And obviously he is a cultist. So the, both the kings sent us a task to do in order for us to be able to get our house back in Sparta. Uh, and get citizenship status. One of the kings told us to go and fight a battle, which we did, and we won. And the other king, this one, told us to go to the Olympics and take their champion there and make sure he wins. Well, we took the champion to the Olympics, but unfortunately he fell in the sea on the way and a shark ate him. So I had to compete in the Olympics, which was basically three or four fist fights. That was it. So I won the Olympics, and then we discovered that there was a cultist, uh, this guy here, who was an Olympic champion, and from him we found out that this guy was also a cultist, and then we went back to Sparta and we hunted him down and killed him. Because of that, the other king said, I have earned my citizenship in Sparta. So that was video number 26. Just in case it doesn't work, that's what happened, that's pretty much it. So what we're doing now is we have gone, uh, we've, that, we've found the identity of this dude here, Cleon, uh, who I'm a bit upset that Cleon ended up being um, uh, a what you call it uh, a cultist because he was obviously a bad guy from the first moment we meant, met him and I wanted it to be someone you wouldn't expect like you would have expected him I want it to be Herodotus but it, it obviously isn't and I kind of want this person to be Aspasia but we don't know who that is yet but I hope it's her and she's sort of like been playing us that's what I think or Phoebe that'd be a surprise especially being if she's dead and a little girl but anyway uh, so we're looking for Cleon now uh, and we need to go and kill him so we've gone to Athens uh, but I've, I've gone into Athens a couple of times and been killed so I'm about to go in Athens again and try and find not kill Cleon, but we're trying to find evidence that Cleon is working for the court so that we can present that to the people in a play to discredit Cleon so we can get the public of Athens on our side rather than killing him and then having the entire of Athens against us because they love Cleon and they'll do anything he says. So that's a quick recap of what's going on. But I want to talk about video number 25. Video 25, you might have read the comment that I posted on it. It was 2 hours and 39 minutes long. 54 seconds of that video, we are on a cutscene with the court, and they're all talking, and there is the Court of Cosmos theme tune playing in the background. And YouTube have told me I cannot monetize that video because of copyright infringement, but they're monetizing it. They're putting adverts on my 2 hour 39 minute video, and 100% of the revenue from those adverts is going to the copyright owner of that song that appears in the video for 54 seconds. That's less than 0.01% of the total time of that video. That is fucking outrageous absolutely outrageous now this video it's probably going to get about 40 views in its total lifetime people are not really watching this playthrough it's probably going to make about one or two dollars that's it that's all that video will generate but it's the principle of the matter two hour 39 minutes of gameplay 54 seconds with a song playing in the background with people talking over it and they take a hundred percent of the revenue and put it on there now, no one is coming to watch that video for that song. Nobody, not a single person anywhere ever will do that. People are watching that video for the gameplay of the game and possibly my gameplay compared to other people's gameplay because my style is what they like. You know, that kind of thing. So I'm fucking disgusted that that is the decision of YouTube. I have disputed the claim on a fair use policy. Now, if they decide that my dispute is wrong, they can shut down my YouTube channel completely. But the principle of the matter, there's no way I couldn't file a dispute. So anyway, if my, if my channel disappears, then it will be because of the outcome of that dispute. But that, in my opinion, is fucking disgusting on the part of YouTube. 
0.01% of your video has got a song playing in the background with people talking over it. Therefore, all of the revenue that your video generates from people coming to watch you play a game, we're going to give that money to those people. It's only going to be a dollar, maybe two dollars at most with a video like this, 20 or 40 views or something. It's really not a popular video, but it's the principle. And I'm fucking outraged at the principle of their decision to do that. It is so disgusting. Anyway, let's crack on. That's enough from me. It's enough moaning. It really pissed me off. I looked at it and it says can't be monetized. I thought, well, why? And then it shows me the little clip. It's like, it's 54 fucking seconds. Bastards. Right, so we are going to invade um, Athens. We're just on the outskirts of Athens now. So there we go. Uh, there's Athens. Cleon uh, is in that building over there, because I've already gone into here. You will have seen it if the video does work from number 26. But if it doesn't work, a quick recap. Uh, inside there is evidence that I can use against Cleon. But as soon as I go down here, all oh, fucking hell breaks loose. All the guards in the area obviously attack me. But a lot of very high level bounty hunters turn up as well. And that's the reason I'm struggling with this. So I'm going to go more discreetly than before around to that side. And uh, get myself in that building. We're gonna have a problem. You know we're not. I'm not going any closer. I'm going all the way around here. So yeah, I'm going to go around the outside and go over to that building where uh, there is evidence uh, against Cleon. I don't know how to kill this mercenary because if I don't, and all hell breaks loose at the top, he will come up to the top and join in the fight. And that's uh, causing me some problems at the moment. Oh, I always forget to mute my laptop, don't I? <laughs> right, so I'm going to run all the way around and go, go in it. Uh, with, with hopefully not drawing too much attention to myself because I had a real lot of trouble in here. The problem is you get a bloody mercenary that throws fire at you and I die straight away. So this is the building. So we, we should be able to just... Like somewhere Cleon would come. It does, don't it? It looks exactly like somewhere Cleon would come. So we want to go in here but not draw any attention to ourselves and investigate. This shovel looks recently used. Mm hmm. How, does, how do you know? How do you know a shovel looks recently used? Oh, there's a couple of bounty hunters on their way. I hope they don't come in here. Uh, there is a chest uh, that I need to investigate as well. It's outside, but you can't open it, which I think is a bit weird. I don't know what the crack is with that. But I don't think you'll see me go by. Look, look at this little pile of dirt on the floor here. She says, like a dirt trail. Look at that. It's not just a dirt trail. They should have put muddy footprints. Muddy tracks? Probably came from someone in the garden. You know what I mean? That is not muddy tracks, is it? Right, so we, we go in the garden, look, and there's... um, Where is it? There's a chest that's been dug up. I, I think it's just around... Yeah, look at this. A chest that's been dug up. I can't open the chest, but she does investigate. Like someone dug here. So she says someone's dug something there, but you can't open this. It just doesn't work. I don't know whether that's a fault or what, but that has me a, a little bit worried. 54 seconds! Ugh! <laughs> right, it's really fucking annoyed me. 0.01% of my video. Ooh, ooh, a bounty hunter's coming. Is he inside the building? No, he's not. There will be in a minute if I'm not careful. Oh, bloody hell, they'll see me as well if I'm not careful. Well, if I do aggro on any of these, I don't want all of them to come at once, so if if any of them see me, I'm going to go back into that back garden bit and uh, hopefully bring them in there with me. I'll wait and see what this bounty hunter does. Quite often the bounty hunters just seem to know where you are. They seem to walk into your direction, whereas really there's no way you'd know that I'm inside here. We've got to investigate this quickly then. Oh, fuck. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. We'll, uh, we'll just hide in, in this. Look how well hidden I am. There's no way they'll see me. <laughs> right, so we'll, we'll kill this bounty hunter if he comes in. And then hopefully not aggro any of them. Right, he's going back. Right, a little bit of my tea.
Have I got to get this now? No, I still can't. Right, I need the key then. That's the reason, because it's locked. I've got to get a key off somebody. Right, another bounty hunter. There's a lot of bounty hunters on their way. Right, so I'm just going to chuck up the bird. Let me just make sure I'm hidden to have a look exactly where I'm, uh, where I've got to go. Because it's probably going to be best for me to go back out again and go around the outside, isn't it? Over to the Acropolis. Uh, over to the Parthenon. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go back out and all the way around. As not to cause unnecessary aggro. Let's get out of here then. Can I get out this way and just climb over here? I think I can. I'm, I'm properly going like around because once you aggro them, you get a shitload of them. There's quite a lot of soldiers up there. But it's not it's not the soldiers that cause you the problem, it's a few mercenaries at once all throwing fire at you, and I'm incredibly weak when it comes to fire. So we don't want any of that. <laughs> this is a much more sensible way. So I don't know if video number 26 will work or not. I hope it does, because if there, it was quite... Uh, well, not that important part of the story, really, but it's still part of the story that would be missing without that one in there, which would be a shame. If you've, if you've watched this many, so you've invested quite a lot of time in this playthrough, and so have I. So it will be a shame if you miss a little bit of it towards the end. But yeah, the, the place where the Olympics was was really nice. Where did I put my cup? Oh, there it is. Oh, of course. I need two hands. I'll just press the button. Right, now tea again. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'll never get to drink this cup of tea. Cold tea's not nice. I'm going to have to uh, have to drink it. I'll pause on the top of this rock. Bit, little bit out in the open there, not particularly comfortable about this person's location. Get in that bush. Come over here. I don't know if they go and kill that bounty hunter before I uh, talk to this guy. Oh! I wasn't expecting to have to kill him. I was going up to talk to him. Got the key. Oh, for fuck's sake. We go, we go back and open the chest. I don't I don't think they'll follow me all the way down here. Well, they definitely won't. They'll just stand at the top with big question marks on their head. I'm gonna kill this dude. For no other reason than he's he's standing there waiting to be killed. Hey! Just die! Die! this stuff now. Hey, where'd you come from? For honor. Sorry about the banging. It's uh, neighbours of ours doing refurbishments again. I think someone bought the apartment, they've not moved in yet, they're just having a lot of um, remodelling doing before they move in. So it'll probably go on for several weeks. The Temple of Asclepios has been completed. Sorry. I can't stop thinking about that bloody decision from YouTube. I just find it so wrong that they do that to content providers. It's really out of order. I mean, it's, it's not anything to do with the amount of money, it's to do with the principle. If they want to split the revenue and give 0.01% to a copyright owner of a song that takes up 0.01% of a video, that's perfectly fine. Even though, really, it's not right, because nobody's watching the video for that song, are they? It's fair use. It really is fair use. So out of order. But 
yeah, that, that particularly affects uh, people who do gameplay videos. I mean, if I, if I forget to turn the radio off in my car on Forza, which I often do, and I forget to put it in streamer mode, and I lose all my revenue off those videos from that, which does happen pretty often, that's not so bad, it's just my fault. It does have a function in the game uh, to put it into streaming mode so that that prob you know you wouldn't be infringing copyright so that's fair enough if they put a feature in the game but we don't have a feature like that in this game Go on. well that's why the chest was locked then Socrates was right this is exactly what we needed what golden axe oh no we needed this Papyrus. Right then, let's go back to Socrates. I'm not calling him Socrates, it sounds ridiculous. It's Socrates. With our evidence about Cleon. We can, we can go down the thing, can't we? I think it's just up here. Maybe it's not. I'm sure it's just around here somewhere. Oh, no, it's not. I was on about the. Oh, there it is over there. We'll go down this zip line. That's what I was looking for. Well, we've got to go all the way over there, look. The zip line doesn't exactly take us where we want to go. Sorry. I think we must be drawing to the uh, towards the end of this game. I was expecting a lot more from all that um, the Atlantis stuff. I really was. I was quite excited about it. I was expecting to be going to some sort of underworld place. But to be honest, though, the, ga the game is pretty big anyway, isn't it? Without having to add all that stuff in there as well. And here I am. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me. If you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Yes, I'd still be responsible. You are almost too insightful, and you're completely right. If someone should be hurt by any means, and we play any role in that hurt, we are still responsible. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another 
even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilini. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilini, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. They haven't really proved anything, did they? They just said some words. I didn't see any proof. <laughs> I'm not convinced. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. Oh, I've got to say, I'm not convinced. If I was in a member of that crowd, I, I wouldn't have been convinced by that uh, that proof at all. Come on, and give me another mission. What am I supposed to be doing now? Oh, I just want to go after him and kill him, and then hopefully uncover whoever this is. Right. Ah, Aristophanes wants to do a play to discredit Cleon. So yeah, that was something else that happened in video 26 in case you've missed it. So let's see how this plays out. I'm not convinced that this is, the well, to be honest, this is like uh, using the media to influence people's decisions, isn't it? We do that now. Happens a lot. This is uh, the ancient Greek version of that. Of influencing people's decisions by having a bias in the media. Or, uh, you know, like um, an agenda in an apparently... Can I... Is this all closed off? Can I get in here? These guards, these look like they're going to tell me to go away. Oh no, they're not. It's like mo most things that you watch on television have an agenda underneath them, don't they? They seem like innocent entertainment, but almost all of them have like an underlying theme that is conditioning the way that you think and the way that you feel about, you know, matters that are important. And that's what's going to happen right here. Looking better. Oh, he was poisoned. Yeah, that happened in video 26. Uh, he was poisoned at the Olympics. It'll be a disaster. A disaster, I tell you. Calm down. I'm gonna have to act, what aren't are I? Talking about? My masterpiece. It will change everything. Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations. But I need you. I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no. It's Thespis. My leading man is missing. A play with no star is no play at all. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. Right, I'll this get him. Shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. He's going to be dead, isn't he? And I'm going to have to do the acting. Which is a bit silly, really. That's blatantly what's going to happen, which is completely stupid, because uh, there would be a lot of other people that would be more suitable to do the acting. Other bloody hell do you get out of here? Is this it? Yes. Right, let's have a quick look on the map where it is and see our most suitable uh, route to it. It's over there. Oh, oh, I can't teleport to there because if I do, 
I'm going to be in um, the Acropolis with lots of guards that don't like me at the moment. So I can't go over the Acropolis, although I'm not going to anyway because you have to climb. Uh, I might just take the horse. Oh, it's not going to let me. I'm, I'm trying to whistle the horse and it's not doing anything. That's weird. Oh, it did it that time. I wonder if there's anything up with the controller. I thought it was a bit weird. I don't see any reason why it's not allowing me to have the horse. I don't like riding the horse around in the city. It just feels wrong. I'll tell you what, I really need to go to um, a blacksmith, so I'm going to do that. While, while we're close to one, I'm just going to pop in and uh, do a couple of little things. Let's go. Where is the blacksmith? Okay, I can see him now. Right, come on then. What do you need? I need you to engrave my sword. Oh, hang on, I ain't got it yet, have I? The engraving that I want to put on, I don't, I don't know if I've got it yet. Yes, I have that one there. Twenty percent damage with hero strike ability. I want that in place of twenty-five on damage with elites and bosses because I, I don't consider an immer a mercenary would be an elite or a boss. And I use this hero strike all the time. So there we go. We've got a boost for that. And uh, while I'm here, let's have a look what we've, um, what materials we can buy from him. Getting these materials to upgrade the boat is going to be the most difficult thing uh, for me to do. So every time I go to a merchant now, I'm just buying all of their materials because money. It's a lot easier to come by than this stuff. There we go. Let me know if you need anything else. We're not that far away now. I'll, I'll walk a little bit closer and then send up the bird to see exactly where it is. House. Why must it? Because Icarus says so, that's why. You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor well, busy. See for your... That is Filippo arriving from school, so I'm going to go and uh, let him in. So I'm going to be AFK for a couple of minutes. See you in a bit. Bye.